Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're returning. If you're new here, my name is Tori and I'm going to be planning for the week of <laughs> January the 23rd, 20, 20, 22nd, 22nd Tori, 22nd through the 28th. That feels weird. <laughs> I was like pausing because I was like, what? Um, and I'm just going to be back again in the Peanuts Planner Co. Um, weekly insert that is a freebie. Have them here. Ready. I think I'm going to keep them in the rings. I don't know. Feeling, feeling a little crazy today. i just keep it in the rings, you know? Um, all right. So... For my Hobonichi, I did like a theme based on like a planning theme, if that makes any sense. So I think I'm going to use some of the washi that came with that, like this. And you see how it says like plan, goals, dream. I think I'm going to use that in this um, spread, <laughs> if I can speak words. But before I get ahead of myself, I kind of want to see, will this fit? Oh, that is satisfying. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't expect it to fit. That is so satisfying. Okay. Now, we us I usually do like a, a washi situation on the habit tracker because I don't use all of it. And so I'm doing that. Try to cut it off here. Oh, okay. Um, and then we'll put some more on Saturday through Sunday because we don't reference that. I'll put the little plan thing over here. Ooh, okay. Don't mind my gross scissors. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just gonna be. If I can get it out of the pin loop using the uni ball jet stream that comes with the Hobonichi. Okay. This is what week again? Do I even know? Do I even know? Okay. Um week of January. I feel like that um audio january february march april except for it's not <laughs> all right so we need to do i'm gonna do some days of the week headers from shine sticker studio what do i want to do don't do I mean, those would match really well, but it'd almost be too matchy with the post-it, I feel like. But these don't match enough. Oi. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'll just use them. I'll just use them. Okay. Here we go. Monday. And then Tuesday. I halfway almost like put Tuesday over here. Like Sam plans. She changes hers over to have the half of the week over here. Which is quite intuitive, but I just, I'm too lazy to go in and change it, even though I could. Alright. And we need Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday. Oh, but you know what? I work on Saturday, so I'm over here saying... Then I don't reference these on the weekends, but I do when I'm working on the weekend. 
so I need to remember that before I get too ahead of myself. All right, so this is 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 27, 28, 26, and 25. Okay, so I have Monday off because I work on Saturday. So, let's see, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna use this OK script sticker that's like from a very, very, very old sticker book and just put it over here. I'm like, okay. <sighs> but I am gonna have to take it out of the rings because I can't stand writing on them like that. Okay, day off. All right, and then Tuesday, I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? Mm. Mm. I think I'll use these foil banners because why not, you know? So looks like we've got I want to use the pink one. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to use these, though. So we do Monday. Well, you know what I meant. That's my Monday. <laughs> okay, so Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, and then I'll do this one on Saturday. Honestly, they, do they match? Not really, but I'm just trying to use what I have. So we'll do work. Eight to two thirty. P. This is work 8.30 to 2. P. And then Tuesday is going to be work 8 to 6. Wednesday will also be work 8 to six and then Saturday is 8.30 again to two again. All right, now Tuesday, got a lot happening on Tuesday, that's for sure. Um, got a meeting, we've got I don't think I'll be able to fit all of this in here, if I'm honest. Uh, not with these ones. I can do them better in my Hobonichi, but... So we've got a meeting. We've got a story time. Then I've got... Um, circulation. And a team program goodness me okay and then Wednesday just got the team program and that's it <laughs> well no Wednesday I got oh I didn't write that in my Hobonichi okay I'll have to go back and do that I didn't think about that I've got a story time at a daycare that I need to go to and then Thursday's free Friday yeah okay so let me write this down before I forget again And then this one is, all right, I'm going to squeeze all this stuff in here. And I don't mind squeezing it in there because it moot, like, 
I use so many stickers just to say all those things. So that's the goal is to use the stickers. And then also I can check these boxes off as I um, go through the events. So that's really satisfying. <laughs> um, and that's why I don't mind having them take up a bunch of space. Trying to find a to-do sticker, but I don't know that I have any left. Ooh, there we go. I have one. <laughs> one little to-do sticker. I'm going to put it in the middle. Or do I want to put it in the middle? Hmm. Yeah, we'll put it in the middle. Okay. So, what do I need to do? Alright, that's all I can think of for now, but as usual, I'll add stuff or I'll add stickers to this side if I don't get to it. Then for this, I do shelving. Um, what else? I never remember. <sighs> Fudge. Okay. Hydrate, daily tidy, emails, reading, up before 6 hours. Okay. Hydration. Emails. Reading up before six thirty and then movement. All right, down here we do gratitude over here. We do priority of the day. So that would be freelance, and then Tuesday is going to be Wednesday will be that story time, Thursday, I'll just say more freelance. Um, Friday, and then Saturday, more freelance. Okay. Now, let's see. I do kind of want to already put more stickers down. <laughs> uh, because who's shocked? Not I. Um, but I think what I want to do is use stickers from here. This is a sticker book I picked up at Walmart, of all places, and she thick. So we gotta, we gotta start putting more to her, or using her more. So, what do we want to do? These kind of match the vibe better. Foils don't match, but <laughs> that's okay. I think this would be very appropriate since we're supposed to have rain this week. So, put enjoy the rain. Oh, that is a very big glare. I'm sorry about that. Don't really know how to make it better. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I do the stars. Do some. Stars. And then one on Sunday because feeling crazy. I might do a diamond on Sunday because why not? Oh, me. Okay. And then we'll do this little lollipop over here on the weekend because we can. All right, so that is my very chaotic week in the rings. And now I'm gonna kind of jump back to that 
format I was doing before where I do a little flip. So let's get into it. This is pretty much the same with the exception of a few additions that I shared. Um, I think in my video last Thursday, but we'll just go down the list. This is my dashboard, a picture of me and my husband. And then this is a um, planner charm I got with the Shine Sticker Studio subscription for, I believe, December. Um, and this also came with it. Uh, this is just literally a picture of Helen's spread from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, yeah, just got some dashboards here. I don't really say everything of where everything's from. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And I'll send you a direct link. Or let you know where I got it from. Um, so the first section is my work section. And it just has a lot of things that I use... Um, for a reference if I need them and I want to look them up for later um, and it has a lot of like conference notes things like that links that I need to look up eventually um, presentation notes that's what this stuff is um, so yeah it's got things that I can definitely reference for the future um, and then go into my finance section, which is just this divider here. Um, and then I have the Peanuts Planner Co. Grocery Guide for if I'm ever ordering groceries on my app and I can't think of what to, um, order or just check and see if I'm missing something. I still have these, um, Hey Planner Girl dashboards. They were freebies and they still are freebies um i just think they still fit it's still cold out so why not um just some pictures here and i have freebies trackers for different shops different shops i like to um shop at <laughs> uh, a vehicle maintenance log that's very quite sad online purchases tracker um, do I need to fix that? I think I do. I think I do need to add in. Mm, I got this one. Let's see the 18th. So. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah. Online order tracker here. And then... I have monthlies in here. They are just little like records of when our bills come out and that kind of thing. And then I have a account register from Plan With B. I have my own like color coding system that I use here for um, bills versus like transactions that are not bills, <laughs> that kind of thing. And then we go into the planning section. Um, I use my rings for my work. It's my everyday carry. So a lot of this is not really applicable to my personal life. Um, other than like obviously my finance section. <laughs> but mainly like if I'm planning in here, it's going to be for my work. So this is what January looked like. I just used Lisa Frank stickers. Um... But this is kind of me planning my library programs because I work as a librarian. So I am just trying to get everything down on paper before I uh, get it finalized to see what it would look like. I also have March in here, but I have not filled March out yet. And this is a huge help in my planning process. So this is a um, three-month fold-out from paper test designs and it's a collab with Elle's Essentials and it's just a great way for me to see ahead in the quarter and see what I can schedule and win. So that's where the weekly comes in. You just saw that. Um, last week was a continuation of the theme that I used um, 
in my Hobonichi and it was that pink um, snowflake looking thing. And then the week before that was this um, the leftovers from the Prairie Planner Library Kit that I really like. And this fold out is part of that Elle's Essential Elle's Essentials collab with Paper Test Designs. Like this is um, the weekly that you get with it. And I never print it correctly on the other side. So, um, and when I'm not like, so when I feel like I need a little extra order, I will um, use brain dump inserts or whatever kind of inserts I can find in here to just put down like a to-do list of things that I need to do, even though it's not really work, um, but it's freelance work. So, but sometimes I just get really overwhelmed and I need a place to come in and dump everything out of my brain. So that's what these are. Um, and then I just have my dailies after that. Uh, and so, yeah, that's what they look like, usually. Um, and I have them tabbed off with some Avery tabs that are holog holographic. Is that the term? I feel like it's not the term. I don't know. These tabs, you know. <laughs> um, I have them tabbed off. This is the monthly and that's the weekly. And the the text and the tab itself is like another tab from Shine Sticker Studio over the Avery tab, if that makes sense. So after we get through the dailies, um, which I have a lot of because I use them very regularly, I just have all of the weeklies clipped in here with an Ollie clip um that I'm not like I printed out they've been in my planner but I haven't gotten to them yet which I don't know if I'll keep doing this after I get rid of this little patch of them but I just haven't felt the urge to take them out I have a spoke to log here an appointment log behind that as well as my information for my puppos over here and then I just have um, another card from Shine Sticker Studio that I received in an order. And then I have these habit trackers are from Nada Notes. And I have a monthly, like I showed in that last video, as well as a quarterly to-do list of things that I need to be doing. <laughs> um, and then I just have this little dashboard. It's a image from Pinterest that I just printed on cardstock. So my next section is like a catch-all. Um, it's basically like whatever doesn't fit anywhere else section. Here's my cute pupper. Isn't he cute? <laughs> um, the home section has reading in it. So these are all of the library books that I take home with me um, to read that I just try to keep track of so that I know what I'm taking and when I need to get it back. Um, I work as a librarian, so I have a little bit more leeway when it comes to this, but I still don't need to be restricting access to others. <laughs> um, I have a, this is a sheet of um, notes from a Skillshare class with Daniel Jose Older. Um, this one is just fan art that I grabbed from Pinterest of Zayden and Violet from Fourth Wing. Um, these inserts are from Haru Plans. I really like the format and I like to be able to like kind of micro journal my thoughts on a book that I'm reading. So I have those and a couple of books coming up that I want to get through. So I have these, I have this. This was just a Pinterest thing that I thought was funny. Um, <laughs> more of the Haru Plans more fan art of my favorite series ever by my favorite author and then I have listings of different book series I eventually want to read or I own or both <laughs> um and like what order they go in because they're so long that I'm, I'm like what am I supposed to start with uh this is fan art from Charlie Bowater um this is the Court of Thorns and Roses cast of characters. 
Um, but yeah, so I have like the Sookie Stackhouse books, Little House on the Prairie, um, some Anastasia Krupnik, like these are children's series. Um, and then I also have like the list of Rizzolian Isles, as well as the Pretty Little Liars series, the Bone series, <laughs> like uh, the Throne of Glass reading guide, which also, if you are up to date on everything Sarah J Moss does, she came out and said that this is the correct order to read the books, which is interesting. Um, and then these were the inserts I purchased from Annalita Designs that are A5 size, so I shrunk them down and they kind of came out like pocket size almost, or passport size, I don't know, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I have been slowly adding to them. Like, I don't track my reading like this, so this is not, this is hard for me to figure out. <laughs> but I have been, you know, adding in books that I plan to get to, I have read, and then also like a book wish list. Um, basically I'm waiting to print books for the bookshelves, like print book covers, until I have enough to where I feel like I'm not wasting paper or ink, which feels, I don't know why that's my hang up on that, but it is. Um, so I have all of these different book inserts. This was an insert of me just thinking about how I want to reorganize my bookshelves. Um, these are all the Agatha Christie books I own and the highlighted ones are the ones I've read. I don't, that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> um, so this is another Hey Planner Girl, um, freebie dashboard that I just printed on vellum. This is a Bible in 60 Days reading plan, which, I don't know, I could never. <laughs> um, obviously, like, this was from August. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Um, just a note from my Bible. I wrote a psalm out when I was feeling really anxious. Um, this was when I was, like, entertaining the thought of doing NaNoWriMo, but I never did it. And then this is reading challenges for the year. So I have them written out and, like, what the challenge is. And then I have the, um like what I read as part of that challenge for the next page. These are just list inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just, you know, divided them out by who's doing the reading challenge and then what the items are. And I'm just going to be writing them in here. And I, I feel like I do have a reading journal, but there's something about the tactility and being able to play around with reading inserts and in my rings that I don't think I'll ever not have like I have a reading journal but I, I really use it for journaling about the read like I don't use it for um this kind of upkeep because I don't reach for it like that whereas in here if I'm thinking about it on the fly or I'm like ooh, I I definitely want to read that for this reading challenge I can just scribble it down real quick and it's messy but it's accessible and that's what I need I need it to be accessible whereas like my reading journal is accessible but it just I, I just, I don't know. It just says long form journaling for that. And this is like my reading section in my rings. And they're two separate things in my brain. And I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how my brain works. <laughs> um, and then after the book, the big book section, I just have the, the list of movies, shows, and podcasts that I've wanted to watch. Um, I've had these in here for a very long time. I'm halfway through Wonder Woman 1984. Um, but yeah, the struggle is that oftentimes, like, people who have anxiety, like I do, we don't like to watch new things. Um, some, I mean, it's not applicable to everybody with anxiety. We're all different. But for me specifically, um, I don't like to watch new things because I don't like to n not know what's going to happen. So I will watch um, like Bones or Parks and Rec or Gilmore Girls, One Tree Hill. Like I'll watch those shows over and over and over again and like rotate instead of watching something new. Um, I'm watching Criminal Minds all the way through for the first time and 
I've reached a point where I'm anxious because I'm at a point where like I really don't know what's going to happen. So I moved over to Sons of Anarchy because I know what's happening in that show because <laughs> I've seen the whole show. Um, so I'm able to like anticipate the bad moments whereas Criminal Minds I'm not fully there because I haven't seen all of Criminal Minds because there's like 14 freaking seasons. So yeah it's a thing it's a weird hang up but like I really don't like not knowing. <laughs> I don't like it because I don't like getting connected to characters and then um having them like leave essentially whereas like if it's a show like Game of Thrones where I'm just I know going in that nobody nobody is special everybody dies like I'm able to view that show within that framework of like everybody's gonna die don't get attached to anybody but if that's not like widely and notoriously known I can't do it. Like, I I don't think I could ever watch Grey's Anatomy. Bless y'all who can and who do and who love it. That is an undertaking that would take something away from my soul, I feel like. So, um, that's why, like, I have all of these shows that I never watch because I'm just, like, nervous. Um, and I don't know why. It's not like anything terrible would ever happen in Bob's Burgers, I don't feel like. I could be wrong. I've started watching Bob's Burgers multiple times, but I just never, never get to it. I don't know. Podcasts are a little different. I can, I can watch, listen to a podcast. <laughs> um, this is something I recently put in here. I think this is Grid from Puffin Pages Co. I think. Um, this is just me like figuring out measurements for the front room of our home. Then it goes into kind of like a journaling section. This is a My Minimal Planner dashboard. And then I have like a um, dashboard and pack or whatever from Journaling Home. She has these little themed packs. This one is a journaling guide for processing stuck emotions and then processing an event. And then I have a dashboard of affirmations that I found from edlarlene.com but I found this on Pinterest and I just printed it front and back and then after that I have um the in my feelings insert from plan with B. I'm trying to find an empty one I love this insert like this is my favorite insert it's so it's like a quick micro journaling situation where like if you're really overwhelmed all of a sudden or like something happens unexpectedly and you're just like you need a moment to pause and reflect about how you're going to change um or like pivot your day to what happened this is perfect i love this insert um so shout out to planet b love that these are therapy notes um this is an insert from plan with b I'm pr not plan with b excuse me my minimal planner i think it's a freebie if not, it's, I mean, inserts are not expensive. So, <laughs> um, another little vellum dashboard from Hey Planner Girl. This was an affirmation, um, that I saw on, I think it's Theory of Lauren. And I really liked it, so I wrote it down. More pictures of my puppies and then this is my youtube log of when i have a video when i post a video the progress on it etc these are checklists from puffin pages co and i just have more of those in here and then it gets into just some grid pages from puffin pages and then this dashboard and behind this is um my cycle tracker my most commonly like used um references for online work and then like addresses and contact information of people I would need to contact if I lost my phone <laughs> uh, or if I didn't know like I needed to know their address really quickly um and then back behind here is just business cards I have band-aids in this secretarial pocket on dashboard, um, insurance cards, my vaccination card. That's what's back here. 
and then up front i used my planner as my wallet so i have a couple bucks because you never know um and then i have some stickers i don't think i have anything in this pocket i do not have anything in that pocket <laughs> um up here that's chocolate that is chocolate okay that's embarrassing um <laughs> I have this dash, like this little thing that says things to remember. And it's just things that you need to remember. And then I have a um, postcard that w that is like Art Spiegelman art. And then behind here I have a work schedule. So yeah, that is everything in this planner. So this planner is the, um, I think it's, I think the Sophisticate is the one that has the, um, straight corners. I think this is the other one. This is like the river, uh, color and it doesn't have a back pocket, but I'm okay with that because I do use this as my wallet. So I have like all of my important stuff right here and um, the compactness of this is like it, it feels so lightweight even though I have a chunk in here like this is a lot but I feel like this is so light I can just like I'm not going to yeet it but I feel like I could if I wanted to you know like it's just so lightweight and I don't know how that happens because this feels so much heavier in my chunky mo term than it does in this slimmer um print pression so yeah i am like at first i was like i'm not sure i'm not sure i love the color i love the look of the patina but i'm not sure but now it's like i could i could eat her i, I never would but like she's so lightweight but she's still chunky and it's like what my brain is broken anyways so yeah that, that is um this week let me turn back to my weekly here uh and put the tab on the right page here that is going to be this week in my rings and if you made it this far thank you so much for spending some time with me i hope you will consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to my channel and that you'll give this video a thumbs up to help my channel grow. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.